How quick can you get to Turkey? Hold that thought, I'll call you back. If I get to drive the boat, you'll see it, I'll be like... <laughs> <laughs> Just hold that thought. Never did get him. I really want to capture my initial, like, holy um, reaction. I hope you haven't left the keys in it, Dick. <laughs> Smells like a library. Welcome to our self-inflicted adventure. What seems like a lifetime ago, we left Australia, intending to sail our way around the world. It's been a roller coaster since then, and while the plan has changed many times, we've been laughing our way through and learned a new lesson for every step of the way. And between us, the real adventure has only just begun. Last episode on Sailing Millennial Falcon. We spent weeks pondering what to do with ourselves now that we'd crossed the Atlantic to the Azores, all the while using up valuable days on our visa. Our immediate solution was to get out of the European Union countries and put a hold on our visa clock. Fortunately, we managed to nab ourselves a dirt cheap flight to the UK. Yeah. So we're going to the UK! Yay! Yay! Got we're driving down a road called Poor Hole Lane. Oh my, someone's done it. And they've knocked out the R, making it Poo Hole Lane. Real mature, Britain. Mature. Unbeknownst to me at the time, this trip was carefully scheduled to meet up with the founder and CEO of Kraken Yachts, Dick Beaumont, and to pick his brains about all things sailing and yachts. While in the UK, we enjoyed putting the cameras down, spending valuable time with family, and just chilling out. For two weeks, we enjoyed being in England, but the time came to head back to the boat, which was patiently waiting for us in Ponta Delgada, Azores. <sighs> Good morning, everybody. We've been uh, back to the boat for a couple of days now, and we had a really nice rest. Um, all cameras went down basically as soon as we walked through the front door of Kiara's family's house, which was just lovely. Uh, but we're back. And if you haven't seen it yet, I, uh, you may not know that I sat down with uh, Dick Beaumont, who's the founder and CEO of Kraken Yachts. He was in the UK at the time, and I've been thirsting after these boats ever since they came into our sphere of, uh, sphere of awareness. So I sent him just an off-the-cuff Instagram message and said, Hey, mate, would there be any chance you'd want to sit down and have a chat? He immediately replied and said, absolutely, come down to my place in Leon C, we'll, we'll shoot the breeze. Anyway, we immediately got on like a house on fire. There was a very long, there was like a three hour conversation, which you've probably seen or will see very soon as, uh, as an episode. Was chatting on the phone the other day um, and he sort of you know, mentioned, oh, it would be great to get you out on a Kraken one day. I said, oh, that would be amazing. Yeah, I'd love to come see one. To which he replies, well, it's funny you should say that because the Kraken 50 that's just come off the press is about to be delivered to its new owner and we're going to go out and take it for a test sale and it's in its commissioning phase. So if you're ever going to get a run on a Kraken 50, now's your chance. How quick can you get to Turkey? To which I replied, hold that thought, I'll call you back. And said, Kiara, could you book us some flights to Turkey, please? To which she said, hold that thought. Kiara then came back with uh, some flights. I then called Dick and said, right, we'll be there on Sunday. And here we are. It is... Friday morning, we get on a plane from Ponta Delgada to Brussels today. We overnight in Brussels, then we go from Brussels to Turkey or Istanbul, where we will board said Kraken 50 and take off into the great beyond. In case it's not apparent, I'm very excited. Can't wait to show you all my dream boat. I don't think you've smiled enough. Can you show me your cheesiest smile, <laughs> your happiest of happy sure. smiles, because you're going to be on a Kraken? No, see, if I get to drive the boat, you'll see it. I'll be like... <laughs> <laughs> Just hold that thought. I'll be waiting. Still getting ready. <laughs> Much better. All right, so we just finished getting ready. We have about two hours until we need to leave to the airport. We have a fair few things to do. So we've got to print out all of our, all, everything to do with travel. I've kind of forgotten what that's like. We've got to empty our fridge, give away our food, close all of our sea cop, got to stow the dinghy upstairs. We've got to do a bunch of stuff before we leave. And then at about 12 o'clock, we're getting picked up by uh, one of our friends here. And he is going to take us for a beer and take us up to the airport. So we've got lots to do, but we have a lot of time on the flights to chat and catch up with you. Thank you. 
says bye bye. Please be where we leave you when we get back. <laughs> we got 50 feet down the dock. We've already forgotten two things. Got everything? Got everything I need. First hurdle, we're not even out of the Azores and we almost got stopped. Apparently, uh, non-essential travel to Brussels is prohibited. We didn't realize that tourists couldn't come into Brussels unless you're from the EU. That was almost the first hurdle. Thankfully, we're only transiting now, we're not actually stopping, so they still let us off. It's just very stressful traveling during COVID times, and this is a year after everything started. Landed in Brussels, step, and we're um, we have to transfer. We have an overnight here. We have to get out of the airport first. It's a little bit dicey. We're not sure. Still nervous. We're a bit nervous. We're not sure if they'll. It should be fine. By by my re reading of all the research we've done, Kiara's done. Um, it should be all fine. But you know, we're just. A bit, it's all a bit tense right now. So we're we're going to get out of Brussels airport, transfer to our overnight stay, and then to a different airport tomorrow to fly to Turkey. <sighs> safe to say that after this leg of, of traveling, no more on a plane for us, we'll just stick with the cell phone. Yeah, keep it simple. <laughs> yeah. Try again. Yeah, just try the lock again. I remember my first time using a door. Oh, <laughs> time for leg number two. Thrilling stuff for us last night. What happened, Adam? Well, first we had to load up on coffee because we wouldn't have been able to get this horrendous story out without the aid of caffeine. <sighs> so, Hey, what? What are we? I don't know. It's 90, 90 euros the same for the hotel room, which I do not begrudge because that's pretty cheap for last minute. And yet, bloody, it comes with a complimentary mosquito. Uh, just in case there was any danger of us sleeping in. I was planning to fall asleep, and Adam, five minutes after I turned the lights off, there's a mosquito in there. <laughs> it was. So he starts rummaging around the room, lights on, trying I to find lights. I probably have malaria now. <sighs> I'm um, there like babe. trying to sleep. Think you are? As soon as he manages to kill this, this imag imaginary mosquito, he then falls softly to sleep, or well, actually quite loudly to like sleep while snoring. <laughs> and I'm left wide awake. To deal with said mosquito, <laughs> exactly. and then you start hearing it. <laughs> so not only did I. Living with this. Guy. Not only did you have to deal with a chainsaw mouth, that's me. You had to deal with little mosquito man too. <laughs> Never did get him. Okay, we made it through the dreaded COVID gate at Brussels. Chiara got bomb swabbed because she's clearly <laughs> suspicious. Obviously, they think that the innocent girlfriend <laughs> next to the suspicious man would be carrying the bomb, though, right? Uh, she's my mule. Nearly there. Nearly, Nearly there. there. Last yeah. hurdle. We 
made it. I'm actually really excited. I this is like on my bucket list. I've always wanted to come to Turkey. So Tristan with Kraken Yachts, he's their like star photographer and cinematographer. He's uh, been kind enough to pick us up from the airport, which is why we're getting the first class service. Excited. This is gonna happen. Both gonna be surprised. I just wanna I just <laughs> wanna see the surprise, right? So just hold on, hold on, I'll go first. Right, so we've just found out that we're staying on the Kraken 50. That's our that's our uh, accommodations for the evening. And uh, we were we were not really gonna film this part of the, the whole thing. Um, but I, I really want to capture my initial like holy sh um, reaction. Wow. <laughs> I oh just, God, it's, no, it's gonna take forever. My inner sower is like, wow, this, this like works. Where's all the like clutch? Plastic. Oh, there. Oh, wow. Hey, that, so that's clean. cool. That's clever. It's ridiculously clean. <laughs> oh Jay. my God. I hope you haven't left the keys in it, Dick. <laughs> oh, it smells wow. like a library. <laughs> oh, look at that. <gasps> Oh my god, this new owner is going to be so happy. I hope you, I hope, I'm happy. If you're watching this, sorry. <laughs> oh. Wow, that's so nice. Oh, look at that. Okay, we'll go this way first. Go that way first. Right. Yeah. Oh, and the galley. The galley is not quite had everything put away. Oh, but, but it's nearly. well, it's lived in. That's oh what god, we want to see. Awesome. This is how it would be if we were really living in it. Well, no, it wouldn't. It would. There, there's, It'd be much, so much, much more messy. You're so right. Much, <laughs> It'd be much worse. There's so much space. I've just put our, uh, our all our provisions away for you know four days for five of us. Coffee maker and oh. uh, provisions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's just eating it. How'd you do oh that? God, that? Push, amazing. pull. No, you, we don't do. Oh, it's a tilt. We we don't do those bloody push yeah, buttons. I don't. Oh, so no, I'm not on I'm my boat, mate. <laughs> and then like push and then twist or something. Yeah, yeah. beautiful. Okay, I haven't the backed into the bedroom no, yet. <laughs> in fact, I'm okay, stuck. Can I can't back into the bedroom. So. Oh my god! Wow. Oh Oops, that you're stuck on so that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow. There's a board here. Is yeah, that... it's a, we, hey, we, we've, we've put that up to show you because That's nearly so cool. nobody's ever considered, nobody ever considers a nice island berth. Um, but then how are you going to sleep in it at some yeah. way? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. Th this, of course, folds under to under the bed. Right. We just, and there's one on each side. Wow. But we've just, um, yeah, we so just. so cool. <laughs> Pretty tasty, oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Like grab handles right here as well. That's yeah, awesome. We, we like handles. Yeah. We do. We do. We do. <laughs> and like wow. just convenient so space, room. you know, like. Yeah. Sensible, convenient and, space. And when you so open the room. cupboards, <clears throat> the light comes and on. And the light, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we should do that. But I should have really engineered if, that. If you look now. at the, the oh what is astonishing so look, look, uh, is look. that is our marriage the and <laughs> the marriage of our design oh. to uh, the crack uh, the um, Sumerine and the Turkish craftsman team because this you won't see in any other boat I'm sure other than the super yacht every panel is matched <laughs> oh my god like so, that? you're kidding so, no, you look wow yeah they are and, they're and that, they're matched and they're every like... panel oh my god what so this oh my god you know what i looked at they, it and i was they, like oh my god far out. Out. it's like two things so, so they are they're not exact mirror images are they no, but they're, they're like they're, symmetrical they're, twins they're, they're two sheets of veneer Oh, so wow. they've selected, <laughs> this is the bit, they've selected oh sheets of veneer so that they've got consecutive sheets and then when they've used them, they've done that with them oh and put them together. Oh my God. And just, just, you know, just feel, 
mascara. Just feel yeah. that. Oh, I have it before. It's, oh, it's, so just, it's so smooth. It's like, it's, it's it's like a baby skin. And, and as you can see, oh all gosh. perfectly. Look at this that's craftsmanship. Amazing. That really yeah, is that's good, beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, wow. For the curious amongst you, we'll release a full boat tour in a few weeks. Join us next episode when we'll show you more of the boat and life aboard as we put the Kraken 50 through its paces, doing a 500 mile test sail around the Sea of Mamara.